Hi, uh, my name is Buck and I'm the lead electrical technician here at ECD. Today we're going to talk about air conditioning and what it takes to uh, refurb the air conditioners and, and reinstall them. So here we have the evaporator unit. Uh, that goes in the center dash or down on the floor level. Um, this will be cleaned up, uh, washed, uh, blown out, um, checked over for any broken parts. Anything that's broken, we'll go grab another unit um, if we have to cannibalize it and make sure that everything is in good working order. Um, it's all cleaned. Um, the heater core uh, will flush that out. The AC core, evaporator core, will change that and put a new one in uh, because of the, any kind of dirt that may have gotten into the expansion valve would be a bad thing. Uh, so we take it and put a whole brand new evaporator core in the unit. Um, and just make sure oh, we'll also check the thermostatic switch and make sure that it operates uh, according to plan and uh, then go to the ductwork when it comes to the ductwork for the air conditioning um, we, we reuse the existing ductwork but what we'll do is we'll take each and every piece, wash it inside and out, make sure that uh, there's no mold, no dust, no everything, you know, it's uh, pretty much like brand new when we put it in. You're going to have uh, several pieces that go together and spread across the entire dash and then hook into the evaporator. After all the parts are cleaned and refurbished, um, we install them in the vehicle, um, making sure that everything fits just right. Uh, the drain uh, pan is lined up with the grommet that allows the condensation to drain out the bottom of the vehicle. We take it to an, exter an external shop. Um, to get the actual AC charged and all the hoses installed. Uh, when it comes back, uh, everything works according to plan. I mean, uh, you put it on air conditioning and turn your, turn your fan switch up and cold air. And it's usually at least as good, if not better, than the original unit, or the original system. We also do a rear AC as an option um, which basically is a fan that taps into um, the front unit. Um, it's not heat, it's just strictly AC. It mounts inside the rear of the front console. And we have two ducts that mount that, that blow out onto the passengers in the mid row or in the rear, depending on if it's a 110 or a 90. Another option that we have, strictly heated seats, just like the original OEM seats, and also heated and ventilated seats uh, as an aftermarket thing. The heated and ventilated system, uh, an option to cool it down uh, with a little fan underneath that you turn the heat off and it blows air up through the cushion and basically cools by convection. When everything is installed and the AC is charged up and everything's turned on, it works just as well as the original, if not better. Um, if you want heat, then you turn on your heat. And if you need a little bit more heat on a cold day, you just turn the switch on to turn on your heated seats. And if it's a hot day, then you can turn on your air conditioning and chill down. Um, because uh, nothing feels better on a hot day than air conditioning in your vehicle.